So, you've been to Rome Island before. Well, today, you go behind the scenes and find out what you really didn't know. So we finally made it to Rome Island, and right behind me is this beautiful spring head. Let's check it out. Just a few things about the springs here in Florida. They stay 72 degrees all year long. As you can tell, it's a little cold this morning, and you can see the steam coming off the water. That's why my feet are in here. I want to show you that in the mornings when it's nice and cold, it's actually easier to get in because it feels warmer. But as the day progresses and it gets hotter on the outside, the 72 degree temperature makes it feel. So I'm down here at Rum Island at the actual spring head. As you can see, there's been a lot of improvements. I've been coming here since I was about eight years old, which is about knee high to a grasshopper. So I've seen all the improvements over the years. I'll be honest with you, I'm more of a naturalist and I like the spring to look as natural as possible. So I'm not a big fan of some of the changes that they've made, but as far as this wheelchair accessible ramp, I think it's awesome. It's great for getting in and out of the water. The only thing is, right here under the water, it does get a little slippery. So you wanna make sure you watch out and you don't get wet. best suited for swimming, fishing, tubing, kayaking, canoeing, and maybe a john boat with a small kicker. Anything larger than that and the Swanee's not too far away. So this is Johnson Springs, just a short walk from Rome Island. I like to come down here and throw my tube in the water, cool off, and then tube back. So there's two entrances here, and the one to the right is gonna run you along the riverbanks, and there's gonna be another little spring. So this is the first little hidden gem. This is actually a spring with a small little mouth on it back here. 